I um, had stayed in from going out to a club. I wanted my boyfriend to come home to cuddle me. So I stayed up <laughs> until, you know, the club closed and communication just wasn't happening properly. So I like got in my head and like, you know, did the whole, I was in my feelings a lot, but he went to the studio afterwards to work on music, which, cause he's like a night owl and he works all the time. I had like remnant feelings about it, even though I knew it was misplaced, but I still wrote a song about it. And once I wrote a song about it, it like all came out, like all the, all the feelings about it came out. And I was like, hey babe, like I'm good. <laughs> I wrote a song about it. He's like, do you even like me? <laughs> I was like, yes, I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every song that I write is kind of like therapy, whether I know why I'm writing it or not. Um, a lot of them come from a subconscious place that I haven't even tapped into yet in my conscious mind. I love getting it out with sounds too. It, it makes it more tangible and more real. You know, when you expect someone to be home by a certain time and then they're not. And then they also are trying to get a message back like, hey, where you at? And they're not responding. And you're like, okay, where are you? <laughs> I had a really traumatic ex that would lie to me a lot. So that for me is like my, where my like panic comes from usually is like when I feel like I'm being lied to or like a truth is being withheld from me. Once I finally got a call back or like a text message back, I was like overreacting. <laughs> but I have too much pride to admit it right now. So I'm gonna write a song about it first. <laughs> How many times do we have this feeling inside of us about we, what we expect our partner to be doing, but we don't communicate what it is that we need? We get stuck in like, oh, well, if they really love me and if they really pay attention and if they really care, then they would know. But a lot of the times people don't know. You know, we're all living in our own reality and trying to like navigate it as best we can. If you come at someone with a preconception of what it is that they did, you're also not having an open mind enough to listen to what this person's explanation is. You know what I mean? Because you're so set on like, no, you hurt me. Unforgivable. And then it's like you fight, 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 fight. And then towards the end of it, once you finally open your mind and you guys are so exhausted from fighting is when you're like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish that I didn't have all these little kind of check marks that I needed in order to be secure and happy. If like someone's trying to go through your phone all the time to see like what you're up to and they don't try, like that's just an unhealthy relationship. As a woman, you know, a lot of the time you're kind of disregarded as crazy for, for like wanting to have your time respected. And it's like, no, I'm incredibly busy. I work really hard. You expect me to, to keep up with you, what I have going on, then you can't expect something from me that you don't give me. Not with Ty, to be honest. He's very caring and very thoughtful. We both are very busy, so sometimes we get caught up in our schedules, but you know, we make time for each other and when, I don't know, distance doesn't really matter when you really love somebody. For me, it's cool to be with someone who understands the lifestyle and who also lives it because like the, the little miscommunication things kind of don't happen as often as like with my exes per se.